it's the best. It's 100% the best. If you want boulder shoulders, as you see all men's health, there are 10 ways to boulder shoulders. And then you read through the article, and it doesn't mention shoulder press once. We have done chest, we have done biceps, and today we are going to focus on shoulders, an often overlooked muscle group, especially one part of them. If you know, you know. If you don't know, you're about to. And yeah, I'm just going to throw you out some exercises. You can uh, choose to take my advice. You can choose to leave a comment and say, I don't know what I'm talking about. You have the power, man. You're basically like He-Man. And what a great day it is to learn that is true. But yeah, I just, um, I find these information interesting when I see other people doing it. So I thought, well, I'll put my own spin on it. And if you like it, great. If you don't, it doesn't matter. Seven exercises. Again, it's not number seven is the worst. Number six is a bit better. Five and so on. These are just seven ones that I would always incorporate into my routine. And one that I genuinely think blows. I hate it. And I just think it's an injury nightmare. Let's do it. Number seven is the shoulder press. Now, this can be with a barbell. It can be with dumbbells. It can be on a hammer strength machine. It can be with dumbbells if you're crazy and want to do it like that. The shoulder press is a great shoulder exercise because it's basically a compound movement and there's a reason everybody goes on about compound movements all the time. Now, the one that I would always do is a, ham a sat down hammer strength machine shoulder press because the bar or the handles are already here. So when you push up, it's fine. When you do it with dumbbells, which I do enjoy doing, you got to do that weird swinging thing. you got to put them on your knees and go, hua, hua. and while it looks cool when you do do it, you're also risking injury, but whatever you want is fine. Um, but even if you just want to do shoulders and variation of shoulder presses, there is the next one you should do as well. But that is, is all right. Like, it's a great movement. And what you have to remember when it comes to shoulders is that because we all bench press all the time and we love doing chest and chest is uh, bro Mondays, the front of your deltoid is way overdeveloped compared to the rest of your deltoid, which is why you need to balance almost shoulders out more than any other muscle group, especially because they're so complicated. I have never met anyone who is serious about lifting that doesn't have crappy shoulders. I've had crappy shoulders. All my friends have had crappy shoulders. If you're a lifter right now, you're probably going, oh, I've got crappy shoulders too. It's just part and parcel. So make sure you warm up. Uh, I don't think I've put them in here. Uh, YWTs, I think they're called. Just Google them, look them up. They are ace for uh, shoulder protection and shoulder development. But the shoulder press, you just have to be doing it. If you're not doing it, you're not going to get the development in your shoulders that you want. And it's so easy. Just that, and then that. I mean, better flex, you know, better movement than that. Range of motion is everything, but you know, you take my point. Number six is lateral raises, and I've just looked at my list. Honestly, if you just want to do number seven, number six, number five, that's actually fine. <laughs> I have decided. Yeah, but lateral raises are when you just get again two weights, whichever you want to do, and you just go up like that. I mean, again, get better form. I'll cut myself out the screen though if I uh, I've cropped myself well close today for some reason. They are great because not only are they going to, like I say, work sort of your your deltoid around here and so on and so forth. I'm not so many people now the comments around. You're not using the scientific terms. No, I'm not because no one gives a shit. There's other people that will talk about that. But what they'll do is they'll give you the. Uh, illusion of width, or that actually give you proper width. And that's why you're great. If you're looking for that V taper, you absolutely want to be doing lateral raises for that very reason. Don't have to go crazy with strength again. It's a really hard exercise to do in terms of time under tension. Because, you know, if you're coming up here and you're fighting downwards, and even if you're doing like 14, 16 kilograms, it's just an awkward position to be in to try and fight against that. So what I would always do is try and do a higher rep range, maybe even up to 16 plus reps. You see how it works for you. I mean, I, some pe I see some people doing like four rep lateral raise sets. And again, you know what works best for you. I kind of don't get the reasoning behind that. I'm just throwing out what I, what I would do. But yeah, lateral raises are essential. And if you've got a machine in your gym, I don't, unfortunately. Lateral raise machines are great because they will pinpoint that um, well, pinpoint that point more specifically than anything. So do them. Do them. No, seriously. Come on. Do it. Do it. Number five is the one that no one does. Rear delt swings. Rear delt raises. Just work your real delt. Whatever the hell you want to do, grab your two dumbbells or get on a machine. Let's say we're using dumbbells in this scenario. Bend over and just do a lateral raise. But you're now doing a lateral raise looking at the floor. Nobody touches their rear delt. And I get it because it's not a vanity muscle. Nobody cares. And you can't even see it when you're working out because in this instance, you're looking at the floor. My favorite one to do of these is the reverse. You know, you've got the, the, the chest machines. People have like the fly, the cable, the machine fly. Some have handles where you can grab and do it in reverse. I love that. But again, my gym doesn't have it. 
Work your reed deltoid. Not only is it going to help your whole shoulder muscle and make it more stable and stability is everything, but you know everything's connected to everything else. So if all your muscles are working in harmony, you're probably going to be stronger in other areas. But you should probably be working that when you do shoulders more than your front deltoid because, again, you're just smashing your front deltoids when you do chest all the time. Just look up a bunch of rear delt exercises and do them. And if you want to do swings too, that's fine. And a swing is literally where you you know, smash the weight, not smash, but the weights come together and you kind of throw them back up. Be careful again, form is everything. But my honest advice is no matter what you're doing, work the rear delt, work the rear delt. And when you think you're done, work the rear delt some more. Number four is the front raise. Now, I only ever use front raises to finish off exercises. So I use it as a superset or yeah, just sort of one set I'll do at the end of my workout. Once again, we're putting a lot of stress on the front deltoid. Do we really need to do that? Not massively. And if you go too heavy and you're doing this like a bushwhacker from the 80s. There is risk of injury with that. I think, I think you may not feel the same, but I've had shoulder injuries and I always feel they tie into this. But you see a load of guys doing them. I know the Rock's obsessed with them. And that's a weird thing to throw out there, but it's true. You, in all his training videos, he's always doing front raises. But I would keep it with a light weight and I would keep it with a high rep and just really focus on your form, especially when you're coming back down. But it's that swing up. Even that hurts my shoulders. I've got terrible shoulders, but... I'll put it in here because I know people will question it otherwise. And it is good. It does do a good job. I would just say tread carefully with it. Keep it lightweight. Even if you just want to do it with a couple of five kilogram plates. And you'll be like, oh, it sounds like a wuss. Yeah, but what are you trying to achieve? If you want to be a strong man, then no, you shouldn't be doing it with five kilogram plates. But if you want to be a strong man, why even front raises? <laughs> I don't see how that's going to assist you at all. So they're okay. A popular one. Just be careful. Number three, I put in here just to double down on this. Do shoulder press sat down. If you've done some kind of shoulder press sat up or vice versa, do it the other way. If you are going to stand up and do it, use lighter weights because that's so dangerous. You can fall around. Some people do it standing on balls, which blows my mind. But seriously, everyone thinks the shoulder press, especially the hammer strength shoulder press machine. Everybody thinks it's a waste of time. It's the best. It's 100% the best. If you want bolder shoulders, as you see all men's health, there are 10 ways to bolder shoulders. And then you read through the article, and it doesn't mention shoulder press once, because usually uh, the people writing this stuff thinks we've got to come up with some magic potion. No, no magic potion. Simplicity. Shoulder press rocks. The clue is in the name. Do shoulder presses. Number two, again, it kind of ties into one we've already done, but I will also advocate for sat down lateral raises too. I mean, the only difference is when you're stood up, you're going to be stood up. And when you're sat down, you're going to be on the end of a bench. And um, I mean, what I, what, the reason I like doing them sat down sometimes is I think I'm more deliberate with my form. So when I'm stood up, I may kind of not go as low as I should. But when I'm sat down, I'll actually, you know, I'll bring them right down to here and then I'll, I'll, I'll come up. And I just think that's a benefit. So, I, you know, I don't, I'm not even against kind of doing a plan where you do a set of standing up laterals. And then in a couple of more, depending how many exercises you're doing, you do do sat down laterals. And maybe one, you can go a bit heavier. I would go a bit, <coughs> excuse me, I would go a bit lighter when you're sat down. But I, there are obviously the same exercise. But for me, mentally, I feel like I put more into the sat down ones. And therefore, I try and rely on those. I also think they're great. Uh, you can also be really arrogant with it and do it in front of a mirror. And your shoulders will look all big and ripped. And that will make you feel good. And you'll continue on doing it. Um, do them. Thanks. All right. Number one is cable pulls. I put them in here because, again, they're a good rear delt exercise. And I think people actually like doing these as opposed to uh, rear delt swings or whatever. Just make sure you're doing it right. Okay? I can't explain as perfect as I can here. But they are called face pulls, whatever the hell I just called them. So make sure you're pulling to your face. <laughs> I see people pulling to their chest and they're pulling over their head. They're face pulls. They're face pulls. So you want to make sure you grab whichever handle you're using. I understand sometimes you're not going to be able to use the handle that you want. But you want to make sure your hands are coming out like this. So basically you're doing a bicep thing, uh, a bicep flex. Because if you pull in like this, it's just not going to be the same. That's where you want. That's where your redelts are. Like if you put your hands up like that, like someone's about to like stick them up, you've been arrested, oh, and you pull back your shoulder blades, you will feel your rear delts. And that's where you want to hit. Well, if you bring it in like that, you can feel them a little bit more in there, but you're going to get so much more uh, benefit of doing it up like that. I like doing it with a, um, uh, what do you call it? Uh, a rope if that's what the hell called, you know, a rope handle. So I get it like that and I just bring it in and I pull and I really, really feel it and then I'll go back down. Again, no need to go heavy. You don't need to destroy your rear delt. I would, I 
personally prefer um, rear delt raises, but I see it all the time. People love it. They, they love this one and they love that weird ab exercise where you grab a rope and you crunch up like a tortoise. I've never done that in my life because that's not true. I tried it once and it didn't make any sense to me. But again, I don't, I think you should do whatever exercise makes you happy. You know, again, if I wrote you a plan and I just said, you know, exercise one, two, one, two, one, two, and you hate exercise one and two, you won't do it. But if you love three and four, well, I'm going to try and sculpt it that way, right? There are some that you should do, squats, compound movements again, blah, blah, blah. But just remember that. There is no right or wrong here. You kind of figure out what works for you and you go. The one that is crap and the one that is sucks is upright rows. I hate them. I don't like them. I think they put a crazy amount of stress on your shoulders. That's when you grab a bar or whatever like this and you go, you go like that. I just think if some people go crazy heather with them and they're swinging them around, and I just feel like the shoulder's going to come out of place. I know loads of people enjoy them and that's cool, but I just don't like that one at all. I think there are far better exercises you can do, as we've already discussed, that are far safer and do a better job. So I'm like, why the hell would I ever do upright rows? Not for me in the toilet. And that's that seven shoulder exercises that I think will kick some ass and hopefully you can add to your plans even when you're working out at home. If you've got a couple of dumbbells, you can do all of them with dumbbells. You can do all of them with barbells. And when gyms are open again, you can use the machines too. Apart from the rope pulls, you obviously need a, uh, a cable machine to do that or some kind of machine like that. But, but again, you get away with not doing cable pulls or face pulls, whatever, for a long ass time. We've done chest, we've done biceps. Please check those videos out. Hopefully I'll remember to put them on the screen. Uh, like the video, give me a thumb. YouTube appreciates that and it will send my content out further. Uh, share it if you want. Put it on social media, that works. Hit the subscribe button, ding, ding. Then you know, oh, the bell too. I did the ding, ding, hit the bell. I get emails from YouTube all the time. No one's hitting your bell. I'm like, what does that mean? That sounds atrocious. And I have a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Simon 3 16 because as of yet i make no money from youtube when i do i'll stop promoting it either way have good weekends if you're watching this day one i'll see you soon